Hey, this is Vince at Discount Inboard Marine. Today we're going to do an impeller change on a Pleasurecraft Marine ZR409 engine. And Pleasurecraft Marine made this pretty easy. One thing that you want to do, make sure you use Pleasurecraft Marine parts. The impellers are a little bit different uh, from the aftermarket impellers. And when you run these engines and you run high RPMs, the aftermarkets don't keep up as well. They've proven that in the laboratory on water flow tests. So make sure you use PCM parts when you do this. We're going to take the cowling off first and they put these real nice thumb screws on so you don't need tools actually to get them off. You got one there and you've got one over on this side. There's two pins on the very bottom of this plastic cowling. So all you have to do is pull this out a little bit, push down, and the cowling comes off. This is your raw water pump, and you can see there's a serpentine belt on this. So we're going to have to loosen the belt up, and you just take a socket, put it on this tensioner. This is going to be a 15 millimeter socket. You just put it on the tensioner, and you can pull it down. That loosens the belt. Uh, making sure that the belt is out of the way. And then we're going to take a 10 millimeter socket on an extension. And you, go, you can go into these holes. And that's what they're there for. And you've got three little bolts that you have to undo. We've got our three bolts loose. And you just pull the front of the pump off and your impeller comes with it and the impeller just slides off it's a double flat impeller so it's real easy to get on and get off change the impeller you pull the old impeller off there's a large o-ring here and the new impeller kit comes with this o-ring and three little o-rings one for each bolt that's why these bolts aren't falling out and it makes it real easy to put the pump back on and one other thing you want to be aware of on this pump and you may not be able to see it but it says top and you want to make sure that the top is at the 12 o'clock position because if you turn it, rotate it, the bolt holes won't line up. And uh, you just want to make sure that you've got it indexed correctly where it says top, it goes at the top and it'll slide right back on. This is the little packet with the big O-ring and the three little O-rings for the bolts. So we'll go ahead and put those on, slide the impeller back on the shaft and put it back onto the main housing. And you can see the you can just push up on the bolts, grab the little o-rings and they just slide off. We've got our new o-ring we're going to put into position. And then we're going to take our new o-rings for the bolts and you just slide the bolt through the hole, push the o-ring on. and then the bolt will stay in place and it won't fall out. Okay, we're, we've got our O-ring in place, our bolt O-rings are in place. Now we're ready to put the pump back on. And you can bend this impeller any way you need to to get it in. Uh, and you can adjust once it's in. And you don't have to worry about which way the bolts go. And then you want to line up your word top and we'll tighten the bolts up. Okay, we've got our belt back on. We're ready to put the cover back on. If you pull the belt off and the belt comes off, don't worry. There is a little sticker on the plastic cowling that shows the way the belt should go on. If the sticker isn't there, take a picture of it before you start and uh, it'll make it a lot easier to put everything back together again. We thank you for your time and if we get into the project have any questions please feel free to give us a call at 803-3450-996 extension 3 have a great day or visit us online at skidim.com thank you